trying to be hard. I had the fan all self, I had this fan clearanced, but unfortunately the clutch fan itself wasn't tight all the way and was wobbling, made a lot of contact with the shroud itself, and let's say, you could say it self clearanced, <laughs> whatever, it doesn't hit anymore, and uh, to, I used brightly colored zip ties to remind myself of what a clown and that I really am, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's idling at like 850 uh, RPMs and it's holding temperature just sitting here, even with the destroyed fan shroud. So I guess it helps enough. And then maybe eventually uh, I could get like a GK Tech fan shroud, our fan, because those are like 60% more air efficient or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. So I think the bushings on the Celica steering rack are bad. Uh, the tie rod seem fine, the steering rack seems fine. And the it recenters uh, differently every time, so I think that's what's bad. Fortunately, I got these really delicious looking steering rod bushings. They're poly, uh, part number, there's a part number. So yeah, if you need that, I'm gonna do my best. Wish me luck. Dang, the, sh the rack was moving so much, you can see where I was hitting the freaking exhaust. All bad. So you can see that little blue thing, new bushing. Oh yeah. So it's the next day. Took it for a spin. It feels so much better. It's like I should have done that a long time ago and shouldn't have waited until it got that dangerous and bad. But that was kind of a bitch of a job. And uh, I recommend anybody who has a left hand drive one, take your time. If you can't take the tie rods off, if you can't, just do what your best. There's a lot of movement once you get both the brackets off. Uh, and if you have poly bushings, then I recommend ovalizing the mounting bolt hole closest to the back of the car on the uh, driver's side. It'll help a little bit to do that. So that's what I have to do. But it's all on there, it feels a lot better. And, yeah. So in that pile of parts, uh, there's a couple things I can install right now, or like recently, and some things I should probably wait to install. But the things that I can install is uh, some fog lights. I have the OEM ones that look like this. Those are definitely gonna go back on. They're gonna be cleaned up and stuff. But I also have two sets of Hello 500s. Oh, dude, I know I wanna put at least one set on, but I don't know if I wanna put both. If I were to put both, where do you guys think I should put it? Because uh, like, I really want to go for that rally car look. I just don't know what, where I should put both sets. So let me know if you guys think I should even put them on there, what your opinion is, and if so, where I should put them. <laughs> 